Hello everyone, welcome back to MATLAB programming course. Today we're going to cover one of the most important concepts in MATLAB programming and it is saving our results to wor start working with them later on. If you come to left side of your MATLAB interface, the current folder, you will notice that yours probably is empty because you just installed it and you haven't saved any project or work inside that. However, when you do, you're given the ability to create folders and also new file which is going to be function scripts and stuff like that for instance i do have a test script here i've created a test script and now i'm going to create another one by clicking on the new script and calling test2 i can save it and then MATLAB asks, where do you want to save it? And I point out to the default location where MATLAB installs all the files. So I call this test2. And if I hit enter, you will notice that the new file is just created here. You might be tempted to do this. For example, I do two multiplied seven. I'm just creating random numbers and calculations. So 83 minus two, X equals four, and stuff like this. And you see that in the workspace, also there are new variables created, the command history as well. However, you might be tempted to do this. Save workspace and let me save it here. Save workspace, hit enter. And you will notice that, okay, the new save workspace is created and okay, so I'm fine. When you clear the screen and let's say tomorrow you come back to resume your work, you will notice that by clicking on this, only the workspace and the values saved inside the variables are here. But no calculation, no formula, no nothing is created. Therefore, it is very important to realize the difference between creating a script and also save workspace. Fortunately, MATLAB saves all the records in command history for us. Therefore, if you need to do the calculation, you see the result, you can come here and review it and just get everything here you've done before. However, things are not that easy all the time. There are programs and algorithms that may be 1000 lines and it's not feasible for people to just go over review it line by line. To avoid such problems, we create scripts like this. So in a scripts, you are able to save anything you want. So let me call it x3, y equals five. And then when I save it and close it. If I come here tomorrow and type test2, you will see that the new variables are created here for me. So these are the new variables. And also I can resume my work by clicking on it. It's always there. Another additional benefit is that I am able to email this to anybody I like. So this is a transferable and everybody with the MATLAB install can open the file and start working with this. Therefore, please make sure that you completely understand the difference between the script and the saving workspace. It is one of the major sources of frustration for beginners. With that said, I will see you in next video.